Hello and welcome back to all my friends. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel and today I'm back with an absolutely new video showcasing a very very useful and simple feature uh, in Excel VBA. Many times in our user forms in Excel VBA we want to limit the number of characters that one text box should be able to take and today our video is going to show how we can do the same in our user forms using Excel VBA. So let's jump straight into the video. I will do Alt F11 and see here I have already uh, made one user form and I have already written some codes to it. I have a label called name and then I have a text box and there's a command button called proceed uh, just to keep things simple i have not designed or used any other features in this uh, user form but of course your user forms can vary and have certain or many other features into it so i have named my text box as text box one and the main thing here is that the max length I have restricted to 20 of course you can uh, keep uh, 100 you can keep 1 you can keep 10 whatever you wish to for the sake of this one for example let's say I keep now it as 10 the max length and I save it and the code is already written let's run let's say I, no, I want to write whatever characters I want to write and now after the 10 spaces the 10 character spaces this is stopped I mean it doesn't move further so that's how we restrict it now for example just to showcase you again of what it has done Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now further more than this, it cannot go anywhere. Whatever we do, it cannot move. No space, no uh, digits. I can just reduce. That's it. So that's how you restrict the number of characters in one text box. It is that simple. Okay, so that was the simpler part of the video and now uh, what if we also want to see of how many characters are left to be fed, uh, that is how many spaces are left in the text box to be fed. Uh, now that's very, ex that makes the whole video very exciting because uh, we get to learn a very, very new thing here. Uh, so let's get straight into our BBA project and as you can see. Uh, now what we, we have done here is in our user form while we had this text box one earlier we've also added another text box here we, are, we have named it as txt char left which is text characters left you can name uh, any as per your convenience and choice and we've also written the code now what we've done is we've added uh, some lines into our earlier code in the mean dot text characters left of value we've put 10 here because we've put 10 because uh, if you remember we restricted uh, uh, the text box length uh, the name text box length to 10 now if you want to increase you will have to change this figure here and over there as well I will just go back uh, to that so as you remember here we have put maximum length as 10 let's say now we put as 20 and uh, we go back to our code here so we will put 20 here and now this part of the code here we have two features uh, we have restricted uh, the input in the text box uh, to be alphanumeric and no special characters are allowed in the text box uh, by using the key ascii codes uh, you can find these ascii codes uh, uh, from the internet uh, the numeric keys are from 42 to 47 and then the decimals at 58 and uh, the other alphabets uh, at 90 to 94 right so that is what we have done and then 
to see how many character spaces are left this is this part of the code uh, which will make it happen need or text character left or value is equal to well now because we increased to 20 we will change this minus value the length of the text box one so let's see how this works now so as we uh, here you see you keep your eyes over here this is saying 20 spaces are left as I start to type they start to reduce the number of spaces left right this you can see and as soon as i reach the 20 mark uh, it says zero and i cannot write anything any, anything else here and i can write the alphanumeric keys here but if i put a, a special character let's say this so it will say no special characters are allowed asterisk is not allowed uh, uh, there are only a few uh, special characters, seven special characters are there which are not allowed by Excel. The hash key is allowed. So as I reach up to here, it stops me from doing anything, right? So this is how we can restrict uh, the input in a text box by using the key ASCII codes and how we can see how many uh, character spaces are left to be fed in the text box. I hope you liked my video and if you did enjoy it, please do hit that subscribe button and hit the like button to this video. Thanks a lot. Ciao.